You know, things can be kind of tough for a college kid from getting into the best school to all the homework and then taking those dreaded finals. The pressure is on. Yeah, and it can be hard to make ends meet while you're there. In fact, a recent study shows the number one reason young adults drop out of college is a financial struggle. Here are some ways to stay afloat while getting that degree. Where do you find flexible part-time gigs suitable for college students? I work at Starbucks. Most people I know end up as waiters um, if they're not already working for the school. The best jobs might be right on campus, like a campus tour guide. Why not get paid for showing new students around the campus you know like the back of your hand? You'll get minimum wage, but the experience on your resume is priceless. Really good at a subject? Get work at the tutoring center or tutor from home using sites like tutor.com or ehomeworkhelp.com. You'll rake in anywhere from about 8 to about $20 an hour depending on the subject. Or work from your computer. Companies like ChaCha and KGB pay students to give real-time answers to questions people text or ask online. Earning up to 20 cents per answered question could add up pretty fast. And if you got a knack for writing, you can get paid by writing your own blog using a pay-per-click platform or freelance for a company writing articles or press releases. That is just amazing to me. Well, there are certainly plenty of part-time jobs available that fit easily with the school schedule. But what about when you no longer have a school schedule? Yeah, we're talking about graduation times, one of the happiest days of your life. With your diploma in hand and final exams and all-nighters in the past, the future looks bright until you start applying to jobs and get rejection after rejection. The learning's not over yet. Here are some of the top mistakes made by first-time job seekers. Candace Coleman is a recent college grad but hasn't been able to find a job. I didn't think it would be that difficult to just get a, kind of like an entry level position. Many first time job seekers make mistakes that they may not even be aware of, like not staying up to date on industry trends. Graduates should do research not only on the company, but about the field in general. From, I don't know, fifth grade on, is I just wanted to be a doctor. For example, if entering the medical field, you should know about the Affordable Care Act and how politics affect medicine and social needs. Also, don't forget to be enthusiastic. If you appear bored while interviewing or even while networking, you more than likely will not be considered for the position. Show enthusiasm through your knowledge of the company and interest in the position. Now, also keep in mind, even though times are hard and it may not always be wise to hold out for the perfect job, when you get that sinking feeling in your gut and you know a position is a poor match for your temperament or your skills, it's wise to go ahead and pass. Now, when you have your doubts, discuss that with a mentor before making an irreversible decision. And remember, experts say it's not always about your grades. Consider getting experience outside of the classroom as well. Now, what that means is internships. It's free labor for whatever company you're working with, but it's also free experience for you. Good teamwork skills are important as well. This is learning to work well with others. It's important to combine each other's strengths and weaknesses to make a better product. Okay, so we've covered what jobs to look for and what mistakes to avoid. The next stop, landing the interview. You want to make sure you dress for success, but you may not have the money to buy a fancy suit just yet. There's a program on Delmarva that can help. We'll learn more about women dressing women next. But first, once you start making money, you'll want to spend it wisely. Our friends from Sussex County Federal Credit Union can help. Here's this week's tip. On behalf of Sussex County Federal Credit Union, I'm Lindsay Coverdale with this week's Dollars and Cents Tip. Credit Union Youth Week is a great opportunity for credit unions nationwide to focus on the financial needs of young people and provide financial literacy education to last them a lifetime. This year's theme, Catch the Save Wave, showcases how trendy and easy it is to save. This young generation of consumer has lived through an economic downfall and is very aware of the power of credit and the impact that overextending credit can have. Whether your child is in elementary school or graduating college, this dedicated week focuses on teaching them the benefits of goal setting to save money and the impact that saving now can have on the future. Whether they need their first student checking account or simply a high yield kids club account, now is the perfect time to start building their financial future. Together, we can achieve more.